Wembley CTV with Adam Hinchwood following a 4 2 win over Torquay United in the National League South. Adam, your verdict on the game? Um, yeah, I thought uh, like a bit sluggish to start off with. Um, when it got behind, and that seemed to uh, kick us into gear a little bit. Um, so, yeah, other than the, the first 10 15 minutes, I thought the first half, half, half an hour of the first half was, was really good, excellent, possibly um, could have been further in the lead, um, we had some good chances, um, so, and then second half we didn't really get going, um, just said to the boys that when games start to get away from us like that, we've got to resort back to what we do best and that's that's playing, that's passing, um, I know it's not what the fans want to see at times, but you can see from today, um, if we do just go from back to front too quickly, um, it's not our game and uh, we, we really struggle. So I thought the minute we started to make some more passes, we took uh, a bit more control again. And then obviously the sending off uh, helps us out massively. Do you think the scoreline flatters us in the end then? In the end? Or do you think that was a deserved result? No, I thought um, when we had our spells on top, we was probably um, a bit, uh, bit better and created more chances. Um, when they had their spell, uh, you know, I think Josh has made a really big save for us um, early on in the second half to, to keep it a 3-1 um, was a massive save. Um, but yeah, uh, when they had their spells, I don't think they created as much as what we did. Um, but yeah, lot, lot to learn. Um, you know, we've got a young team out there. Um, uh, what's it, about four, four teenagers play, probably starting. Alfie Young coming back, his first probably taste at this sort of level for us, so um, there's lots and lots to be pleased with um, and we just want to keep on working and uh, you know when we have those moments in the games, resort to what we're good at and that's passing the ball. And uh, one thing to be proud of as well is, as much as it's been a, a fact this season, a bit of a running theme is the response from conceding early, it was uh, three goals in the first half, couldn't really get a better response from the team. No, and like, we probably could have... Um, Created, we've created enough to score some more maybe, you know, Dylan probably disappointed he hasn't scored a, a first half hat trick um, with some of his chances that he's had. The one that Cash squares to him I think, it's an unbelievable block to be fair but he's got to put everything in the goal in my opinion. Um, but you know, uh, another player that's come in, um, trained with us Thursday, started Saturday so he's definitely a player that's only going to get better for us um, and we've got real high hopes for him and uh, you know, along with some of our other younger players that I thought were excellent today. Um, you know, I thought all in all it was a really good performance and one that we can be pleased with, considering the, the personnel we've got missing. Yeah, to touch on that with uh, Dylan Fadge, that was the right side that you thought could be a really dynamic partnership, him and Joe Felix. Do you think that works today? Yeah, I think, the, you know, like I say, it's their first game together, but definitely think it's got real potential and like I say, I think the more they get used to each other's game, the better they'll become. Um, you know, Joe got in some really threatening positions um, first half um, with some some deeper runs. Um, you know, and you know, I think Dylan showed glimpses of what he could do. Um, but you know, I thought the whole squad was really important today. Oli Starkey, I thought he had a real impact when he came on. He's looking sharp, um, caused them some problems, and, and got the lads sent off. Um, so he had a real impact as well. So you know, we, we were a young side, um, but you know, we just want to keep on developing and, and, and getting better. We mentioned how important the crowd could be today. It was a fantastic attendance in the end, uh, 2,267. Uh, I think that's a record at this level for us. I mean, what a remarkable attendance, and how, how big is that for the football club? No, it's massive for the club, and you know, we really do, you know, we've got ourselves into a really good position. Um, it's going to sound really sort of cliche, but we want the whole town to sort of get behind us and hoping that they enjoyed you know, um, come into the game today and you know, if we can get a few more of them back for our next home game, that would be really important to us because it does make a big difference. Um, you know, I think we've got about eight home games left, so if we can try and get near that sort of attendance uh, for the last eight games, um, you know, really will be built will be massive for us. So, and, and like I say, hopefully they enjoyed some of the football that was on display. I mean, I certainly watch, enjoyed watching watching the lads and watching some of their football it was was superb. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's important now we galvanise the, the momentum and we're hoping that you know the whole town really gets behind us for for the um, remaining fixtures.